cooking today. Today we're actually going to learn a lot as well. We're going to cook. We're going to make some nice green recipes. We are going to chop some fruit, believe it or not, with the three chefs, or the two anyway, Chef Jason Parsons, <laughs> Chef Michael Bonaccini. Who you? needs Massimo oh. anyway? Oh, we got rid of him. Gone. We did, did we, we get rid of him? We ditched the dead weight? Yeah. <laughs> it's just Jason and Michael today. Well, actually, we just didn't have a long enough counter, so we said get rid of him. Well, there you go. Massimo is, uh, you know, he's a busy guy. You guys all are, are busy, busy people, so he'll meet us on the next Three Chefs he Day. Will. But for today, we want to focus on um, fruit and greens. You know, it is that, I'm scared of that. It is that time of year when a lot of us are lightening up a lot of what we're eating. So uh, a lot of great fresh fruit out there, a lot of great greens. But you know what? You go to the grocery store and you see this. And if you're anything, you're like me. You're like, I'll just skip it. Well, I'll it buy just... the pineapple in the can. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <coughs> this is what amazes me. I don't want to chop it. But the, this is here, and then yeah. there's a tub next to it with the pre-cut pineapple. I and I see people time after time they picking pick up the pre-cut. They put it lazy. down and they take the pre-cut. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, and I know it's because where do I even start yeah. with this? Yeah. And what you do is you just say, Michael, can you cut this for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I thought we'd do that today is just go through some simple, simple fruit, or at least I always think it's simple, but maybe right. you know what? The right tips can make it a little easier You're for big you. on yes. using fruit, yes. so you're doing yes. this all the time. The it's like best part second nature to you. I know. You're Apparently, there's a knife for me. It's a race. Right. Is anyone else so wait, scared out there? First thing you do before you pick up a knife, so just one, two, three, four, five. Count your fingers. Yeah, sure. okay, all five. Yeah, okay, just make sure five. they're there. Okay. Yeah. So pineapples, where do you start? Now, there's all these, you know, different ways of cutting around the outside and that, but yeah. I just want to get down to the basics of how do we eat this thing, okay? Okay, start with so, the hat. Top and tail. I call it the hat. Right? And it's great if you're actually doing a nice fruit platter, you can put it on there as a little display if you want. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then you do the bottom. You do the bottom. You got it. Okay. Right, and we got balls here for garbage, you can throw it in there. So far, so good. Okay, so now you've got a stable surface to work with. Yeah. Then you simply just, and that's why I like these long, it's a bread knife, a carving knife. Mm -hmm. that's you know, everybody's what you got use. these, you know, a chef knife, that's fine, but, yeah. right tool. you know, we're soaring down the side. So you just So kinda, you want the serrated edge, it's going to help, it. right? Yep. So I've exposed this now. Yeah. And then what yeah. I've got is nature's given me this perfect line. Right. So, that's right. So we just curve down the side. Okay. Yeah, and Michael's got a little bit of a fado on there, so you can see he's got a little bit more of a curve going on. And I'm talking about the hey, pineapple. That, right? <laughs> I'm talking about the pineapple. That's really Jason. Yeah. But you want to just kind of then carve around that side like this, and you can see you just. It's actually uh, not that hard, people. It's not. It's not. You know, I usually let though, right? Leo it's, it's do all of this stuff because I just want to eat the pineapple. I don't want to go through all the well, work. But I, it's not that hard. And the thing is, it's you know, the great thing hard. with the pineapple, because it's so large, you know, you, you, a little bit of work gives you a lot of yield. You get a lot of products, right? That's true. So, you know, but uh, again, at what point do you want to start cutting into a pineapple? So how do you know if it's ripe? Do you smell it? Uh, smell helps, but I think it it's, the, it's, the, it's, it's if it's a little softer, you know. Too softer. soft, you know, you're going to be turning this into a salsa or a sauce. Soup. Right. Soup. Yeah, pineapple soup. Pineapple. Cold soup yeah, is pretty absolutely. good. Yeah. Um, but then if it's too hard, you know, you just leave it on the counter for a couple of days and let it go. Uh, I always okay. hear these things about wrapping things in newspaper and that. I don't know if that talking really would. Talking to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, talk, I think talking to it is the best way. You, know, you just kind of so? say, For me. I'm really hungry. Please ripen Could you please quicker. Do you think you're ready? You know, Do you mind right if we now? eat you today? So now I've cut it in half. Oh, yeah. Just I have so a little bit of green left. A little gonna, bit of green I'm on there. I'm just going to get rid of these. Yeah. You know, we're going to make a platter here. I was trying to do it before you looked. <laughs> okay, so we go in half. Yeah. And then to take the core out, you know, you've got all these gadgets taking these cores out. But if you don't have one, you can just simply. Take it out like that. Okay. This part is a bit tough, but you know, not great to eat, so gone. And then you've got beautiful. Actually, Everything's let's do, fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Count, count those fingers. Everything's good. So you can do nice long slivers so like this if you the like. Core. You know. This is good because you're burning calories before you even eat. <laughs> <laughs> right? By the time I eat this, this is yeah. sort of like lobster. Doesn't anyone else think lobster is just a big waste of time? No. no. I need no. someone else to take it out of the shell. It's a lot of work. But again, though, when you know how to do it and you've done it a couple of times, it just takes a little Lobster's bit of practice. Great. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. But you take something like this and you, yep, Michael's got a little. Mm -hmm. How are you there? already at that stage? All right, what? Okay. We're going on to the next fruit. Yeah. So okay, all just right. Push that aside for now. Two pineapples. Okay. Next. Grapefruits. What do we got? So grapefruit, same thing. Top and tail first. Oops, I maybe a little bit I'm eating some of this. That was a lot of work. Yeah. So top and tail. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. And then you go around the outside the same. Right. Again, you follow the white pith. Oh my gosh, they're going really fast now. Yep, here okay. we go. Now, top and tail. Right. And to speed it up, basically at this point, how do you segment it? So you actually go along the, uh, the white pith like that. The first yeah. couple, you actually just go in and you get that beautiful little 
That's yeah. how you do it? Yeah. Just you can't just split them apart with your fingers? No, then you got all that no, white no. stuff in there. You want that beautiful clean. And then actually after a while you can do that and then come straight back out again. I have to make sure Oops. I'm not wasting too much of this stuff though. Well, you know, but you know what? Look, though, the I thing feel like with I'm this, cutting off a lot of... You could though, when you're done, take yeah. the remainder of this, squeeze it out. This is going to be still some juice. Pour that over your fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Tasty. Can you show oh, me yeah. the segmenting again, please? Okay. I so, missed that part of the lesson. On the side here? Yes. going to go down like that. Okay. Come out. Yeah. Then go on the other side of it. Yeah. In like that, nice little V. Okay. And look what you got. Oh, look at See? me! See? What? Easy peasy. Yeah. That's great. But I got a feeling that when you do this, it's not going to make it a platter because you're going to eat no. it. I, I <laughs> one step right away. I love work. it. Yeah. There has avocado. to be some payoff. Okay, some avocado. Well, what do you do with this thing? There's a big seed in there, right? You show me what you do. I know what I do. Well, I like the long knives because then what you do is you just basically on one side roll it. That's what I do. Yep. Exactly. I'm like a chef. See, you got it. Okay. And then you just simply, it hopefully, yep, turn it. Yeah, it's not too right. right? Beautiful. Oh, and yes, you that's you exactly tap, what I do. Turn. Oh, I don't do that. And there you go. I just scoop it out with a spoon, but then now, it's not as neat. A lot of people will scoop that out, but yeah. you get these rough edges. But if you right. quarter it, uh huh. lay it on its back like this, and yeah. then you just simply peel. And yeah, it done. comes right off. Look at that. Done. Perfection. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Huh? Nice. Very nice. That was a very good lesson. Yep. I liked it. I like that I accomplished some of that stuff. Mango. Oh, we're moving on. All right. Okay. Yeah, cool. no, we're, we're done. We're quick, you, quick. you can keep doing that if you want. Okay. I'm gonna. We're gonna talk a little bit more about avocados right now. Cool.